Welcome to the Rusty Iris, everyone. This is our canvas on steel and wheels. This is our mobile art experience. And the beauty of this experience is that it changes depending on who's involved and where it is. And right now, it's been hanging out with a bunch of middle schoolers. After a two year worldwide pandemic, in a school whose name is about to change so that we can move forward together. And I'm gonna be showing you what these students have done to teach us who they are and what world they live in. I'm very excited to show it to you. Let's go. So the Rusty Iris Time Capsule is an interactive walkthrough time capsule that has audio and visual elements. It has writings and reflections, current events, artifacts, and this is all student led every there's there's pieces from hundreds of students at uh, soon to be Journey Middle School. Jack Jewett is now Journey Middle School. That's why we made a time capsule. Time capsules show you what life is like right now. We're inviting you to open this time capsule in 2030. Come on. This is the Rusty Time Capsule. We got we asked everyone in Jewett to add something and we got hundreds of submissions. Mom right here. That's me in the class. Mine is right here. This is mine. Hey, this one is mine. It's an among us here. This was a poster I made for the Rusty Journey celebration. We put them up in the hallways to advertise the event. So what you see here is that Rusty has become a time capsule and it was the anchor for an event called a Rusty Journey Celebration. And this celebration was designed to commemorate our school's name change to Journey Middle School. It's an opportunity to commemorate our own journeys and our own transformations. So what I ask students to do is to reflect on what things have impacted their lives significantly and what changes have happened, what lessons, what has been difficult, what has been important to them. And they took that and they just ran with it. So like this wall behind me is all about really social change and social upheaval. So we have stuff about Ukraine and gender and Black Lives Matter. We have a whole nother wall all about TikTok and video games because we know that's really important. Um, we have a whole wall about COVID and how we survived that. What did we do? Um, to pass the time and what was important to us. One of the prominent features of this exhibit are the masks, and that is obviously one thing that was a common factor of the entire world were these masks. And when I first started talking about it, that's what everyone wanted to put in the time capsule, so we made it a thing. And we um, gave one mask to every student in the entire school. Like, I love this one that's all about positive body image. So we also had some really symbolic offerings for this time capsule, like these. These are origami butterflies, and uh, this was an idea of a group of my students who realized that butterflies go through a very significant transformation, and they come out beautiful. And so what they did is they made a single origami butterfly for every student in school, and that's what you see hanging. Something that I really love about this project is that we really did, this space was a canvas. So what a couple students did was really wrote about their changes and their journey. And one of the, the topics and one of the walls was um, kind of what's your journey and self-reflection. So there's some really profound things that came out of that and, and it was a real collaborative work. So wait, we're burying the bus? No, we're putting everything that's on the bus into a trunk to be opened in 2030. This trunk? Yeah. Okay, bet. Wait, that trunk. Hey, ears. We invite you to open our time capsule in 2030. See you in 2030! The funny thing is, is that students keep asking me if we're going to be burying the bus and we're not gonna bury the bus, but we're gonna take all the things down that are in the bus, put in this nice little trunk here, and uh, with the help of my husband, Kirk, we created this beautiful journey sign that we'll be polishing up and making uh, its own art piece to hold the time capsule in the library. Um, in, 
eight years, the current kindergartners are going to be invited to open it up when they are eighth graders. And we are also creating a video for that, so even more opportunity for collaboration. I hope that the bus will still be around and it will have transformed greatly and we will be able to use it as yet another anchor for these students who have grown up and have gone through great changes and they'll be able to see uh, where they were and where they are now. This has been a tough year y'all. It has been a tough couple of years and I have just realized how much a gift it is to have the Rusty Iris as my canvas and my students' canvas for being creative and collaborative and uplifting. And I know that for myself, this event and this project, I will remember for the rest of my life. And I believe that it will resonate in the students' lives for a lifetime. And the success of this and just how it's impacted me and my students really makes me excited for the next opportunity we have and what we will put on this canvas. Thanks for watching. This is gonna be in the history books. They're really gonna be able to like drop this time in their life to this event. Like they will not forget this, you know? So it's like, it'd be like, oh yeah, the pandemic, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, we had this awesome party.